For this very video, we'll be treating the inverse Laplacian sum of 5 over s minus 4 to the power of 3. Now, look at this carefully. You need to remember all standard Laplace rules because the inverse Laplace transform is the opposite of Laplace transform itself. So both of them are just the same. Right now, it's just reverse process. Now see, 5 over s minus 4 to the power of 3. If you think properly, something has been done here. They've replaced s with something else. See, remember that the Laplace transform of c to the power of 2, if you can remember, is going to give you 2 over s to the power of 2 plus 1. Can you remember? that this is what the Laplace transform of c squared is going to give to you. So it means this will then become 2 over what? s cubed. This was how this 3 came about. Now, how did the s minus 4 come about? Please take note. If you have the Laplace transform of t squared exponential 4t, something like this, exponential 4t, you would then replace this very s with what? s minus 4. That's what you are going to do. You would then replace the s with what? s minus 4. So this is what originated to that. Now, that's, um, that, this idiot on top there is called 5. Uh, we're going to do something to that 5. The first one we're going to do is this. Take note, 5 is a constant. Okay, so let, let us do this. See, this would become, I want to bring out a 5. I want to do that. So this is 5. Inverse Laplace of what will be left here? 1 divided by s minus 4 to the power of, um, let us put 2 plus 1. So that it will be looking like this t guy. 2 plus 1. That is why it became 3. So we have 2 plus 1 here. So let us proceed. Let us proceed. Now this is 5. Then we we'll have Laplace of this guy. Now the thing is this. Since I have my t, because this is actually first shift, what is here on this part of the board is first shift theorem. Since I have t squared, t squared equal 2 over this, meaning your t squared must always have 2. At the top because t squared is supposed to start with 2 factorial so right now 2 must be at the top but right now there's no 2 at the top instead we have this idiot here called 5 so right now that was why i removed it let it go its own way first of all so it means at this very top at this very top we must have a 2 so right now i want to put the 2 there i want to put the 2 there now to counterbalance this 2 that i am adding to this very expression so that both sides will be balanced. I'm going to put the 2 at the bottom also. I don't know if you get me. Because right now, this expression does not have to change. It has to still be the same. If I just multiply by 2 here, and I don't divide by 2, it means I've spoiled everything. Because um, whatever you do to one side, you do to the other side, remember. So if I'm multiplying by 2, I ought to divide by 2, so that the expression remains balanced. Then divided by s minus 4 to the power of 2 plus 1. So right about now, right about now, remember that this can be 1 times 2. So right now this is 5 times 1 over 2 is a constant, so you can come outside. So this is 1 over 2, you can come outside. So this is times 1 over 2, inverse Laplace of what will be left here, 2 over s minus 4. Then we have our normal 2 plus 1. At this point, this is 5 over 2, inverse Laplace of 2 over s minus 4, then 2 plus 1. So let us get our final answer now. Now, what do you think this is looking like? Look at it. This is 2 plus 1. Are uh, these two things not looking the same? This is 2, this is 2, s minus 4, s minus 4, then 2 plus 1, 2 plus 1. So what does that tell me? That tells me if I move this Laplace guy to this other side, the inverse Laplace of everything here is equal to what? This is 5 all over 2t squared exponential 4t. So this is the final answer to that very question. Mind you, watch the first shift theorem in Laplace transform. For you to understand this inverse Laplace transform, the video is here. Thank you very much for watching this very video. My name is Abitech.